There's lots of children in the UK who've been born as a result of donated sperm or eggs or embryos and some have been born as a result of surrogacy as well. And there's a big question about what children born by these methods actually need to know about their donor's medical history and their donor's family history. It's also quite interesting that quite a few of these children don't actually get to know that the donor conceived in the first place. So what we're trying to do in this working party is just understand what people think about this. We want to understand whether it should be the family that makes a decision about what the child knows, or whether it should be a broader, maybe the state has something to say about this as well. So what we're really wanting to do is to get information and evidence by people who have been impacted by donor conception, whether as children, as families, or as donors, to work out what people think. We're going to emphasize this consultation and getting this information can be very confidential, but we want to know what people think and why they think it so we can actually make a, some guidance as to how best to approach this very complex and difficult issue.